Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have another scrapbook layout for you. This is the November Click Kit and it's featuring the We Are Memory Keepers Wildflower Collection. I'm starting off with the cut apart page called Flea Market is where I got all these tags and that I obviously cut them apart. <laughs> And I am scrapping a picture of me and Miguel um, on one of our dates, which is always fun when you do with your with your boo. And that green paper is from the collection. It was part of the the backside of Wildflower. And this twine was featured in the kit. And I am just kind of thinking of not to say sewing, but gathering these all together and leaving the kind of tangles and such at the end. Um, you'll see how it, it comes along really quick, uh, really cute. So I was just trying to see if any of the other pattern paper colors could be in the background as well. And I do fuss around with this green color for a while, but actually I do change it to like one of the amber golden colors shortly, which I do believe is the backside of this flowered paper. Yeah, that's going to be the one that I use. So the colors in this collection are just fantastic. They're rich. They're almost like all jewel toned, which I love. Um, this is probably one of my favorite kits um, that Click Kit put out this year, even though I will say that one of the summer kits, the Ambrosia one, Ambrosia, I think it was called, yes, that featured Pink Paisley's um, Citrus Bliss was another collection this year that I just loved. And this one is a close second because it's just, the colors, there's something about the colors. Whoops, sorry about my phone. And so this is the back of that um, road trip paper with that beautiful flower. So I do layer the gold, the golden color with this stripe just for some added um, color to the page. And I am leaving it, I'm gonna be putting it on white cardstock. So I keep on fussing around with it. I know you probably see me do the, 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 the silly tags over and over again, but I was just making sure I liked the weight of all the color being down below and it fading to the top, which is exactly what it ends up looking like. <laughs> but you just see the thought process that everyone goes through um, when they're doing uh, their layouts. So I'm committing to the strips being about midway on the page. And do not be afraid, I do start adding some mixed media to this layout. It wouldn't be one of mine if I certainly didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to see me add, um, we're going to be doing some modeling paste. Oh, I actually, obviously, I add some gesso. And the gesso is, I don't know what brand. I, I want to say it's Liquitex. It's just in a smaller container so that it's easy to travel with and I don't have to bust out my huge um, kind of pot jars worth of it. And I'm just simply keeping it all on this layered pattern bright paper. A, to tone down the colors a little bit, but B, also to add my mixed media. I am going to go start doing some stenciling work as well. Uh, I am just taking also some mists. This one is the one you see, Tattered Angels in like apricot jelly. And then this is Tim Holtz in one of those bronzy, got bronze varnish, bronze or something like that. It's the bronze one. <laughs> and it's Distress Paint. So I'm using the very um, ever so reliable uh, packaging technique. And like I said, that is the Tattered Angels. It's called Apricot Jelly. And it's like an orangey gold color, but it has shimmer in it, which is why I layered it on with it as well. And it's just going for that messy look. It still stays in the same color family. And I do really, really like it. Now I will be adding some stenciling. I end up using this Prima stencil called Floral Petites and I do add the Tim Holtz model that paint in the bronze to some modeling paste. I guess I did it off camera. Um, and I'm just adding some of these smaller flowers to again the center to add texture where I know um, it will be showcasing because my picture does manage to say about center um, for this layout. I am layering my picture on some surprisingly gold tissue. I forgot what present it was. I save all, you know, tissueing from gifts. So it's a piece of gold tissue from a gift and some white tissue that I'm just cutting down and I'll be matting it on that lovely, lovely floral paper. I just love 
the florals in this collection. I don't know what it is, you know, I'm, I, I love them, but don't get me wrong. Like I sometimes, I think they're very like vintage looking which I really like. So, um, this is what I mean about, I wanted to keep that twine also as like a main element into the layout to have all of it kind of circular and loop through all the tags is, was kind of the idea because we got this twine in it and I wanted to use it and I didn't know how. And this was my take on including it into this layout. And don't mind the white, my camera has a feature where it takes like pictures or still shots or something. Um, and it always doing it when they recognize a face. It's like a face recognition one. So I'm just blocking it because my camera was going berserk with taking pictures because it was noticing our faces on there so much. It's a feature on my little, what is it? I have like a handheld HD camera. Um, I don't know how to change that setting but because I never use the pictures it takes anyway. And it takes like a picture every second. It's so frustrating because it eats up space in my memory card too. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so that's why the, that the picture was blocked off for a moment there. And I commit to the layout and the note card also that I did some journaling on is from that cut apart sheet. The wild and free is from the sticker from the collection, the sticker sheet. The washi tape I'm using is from Jed Hadfield and it's from her DIY home and the floral in the top corner as well. These are all from the collections in the sticker sheet, which are just gorgeous. I mean, and it even has the, the pops of gold, which is why I wanted to use that like amber and gold color. It's just a truly great collection. If you don't have, you know, any of it and you do like the colorways that it is, I'd recommend picking it up. It is just great. Um, I'm not sure. I will leave the link down below for the click kits as well. I'm not sure if you can pick up the collection still, but if it is, I'll, you know, leave the link so that, ooh, excuse me, that you can see if it would um, be still available for you. And of course, we got to finish off the layout with some Heidi Swap Color Shine in gold. I am on officially my second bottle of this lovely mist because it's pretty much the topper to everything. Then I'm also going in with Heidi Swap, Heidi Swap's Color Shine in navy. And the navy one is has a nice shimmer to it as well, so I just love it, and it dried really, really cool. Um, hopefully you'll see the details on the close-ups. So thank you for joining me. I'm just cleaning up the edges. Um, please subscribe if you have not done so, and I appreciate it. A thumbs up on this video. And there's a little roller date stamp because I remember the date. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.